Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey, welcome to uh, the home dedication for Jakivia and her family. Uh, today is going to be a, a fantastic day. Um, just a, a few days ago, we finished up our fiscal year at Habitat for Humanity, where we completed um, a total through our history of 910 homes, um, 85 for last year. Today marks the first home dedication of our fiscal year 2025, and we're going to do a boatload of homes this year. You get to be lucky number one. So congratulations, welcome home. Let's let's get this party started, right? <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about Habitat for Humanity and the journey that uh, Jakivi went through. Um, getting into the program is not easy. It's it's not hard. It's it's challenging, uh, but once you're in, that challenge doesn't lighten up. It it stays challenging. Uh, our homeowner candidates, once they're in the program, are responsible for completing 350 sweat equity hours, up to 450 sweat equity hours um, if it's a dual household family, 36 plus home buyer education courses, lots of finances, uh, savings, um, planning, and getting ready for that future once you become an actual homeowner. Uh, Jakivia completed 402 out of 350 sweat equity hours, which is phenomenal. Yeah. On top of that, she would come in and meet with us, um, have conversations, different things came up, and instead of giving up and saying, this is too hard, she said, no, we, we got this, we got this. We came up with a plan of attack, move forward, and what a beautiful home you're standing in front of today. Um, we do some, a, a few things at every home dedication. Uh, one of those is the Bible. Uh, the Bible really is the foundation of Habitat for Humanity. It's, it's what we're based on. We have roots in, in Christian beliefs and foundations. Uh, I'd like to introduce Sandra from our team to come up and present that Bible to you. Sandra. Uh, good morning. Um, to say I'm proud of you would be an understatement. I know how hard you work. I know what this means for you and your family. Um, I would like to present you the Bible, which has been um, signed with prayers and well wishes for you and your family um, as you begin your journey and your home, we know that God will bless you and welcome home. Thank you. What is today's date? What is today's So you came into the program on July 10th of last year. My birthday. Your birthday. That's been one year, right? That's phenomenal. That that's not common. That that's outstanding. Great job. So um I'd like to recognize some other partners that we have here uh, at this home dedication. Uh, we have one of our board members, Daniel Mock. Thank you for being here. Now, our board is instrumental in people getting into the program and making it through because they serve as the, the approval authority. Nothing, nobody gets into the program without going through our board of directors, so they serve an extremely important function here at Habitat for Humanity. Now, something else we do at every home dedication is we present a hammer. Now, the home dedication is the culmination of everything that you have put into the program from the day that you came in and said, I want to do this. The hammer signifies all the people that have rallied around you saying that, you know, maybe we have different beliefs or different political ideologies or whatever, but everybody can come together to build a home for you for your future. So I'd like to introduce Yusef from our construction department. We're at Yusef. He's going to present that hammer to you and say a few words. Come on, Yusuf. Thank you, Jack, and good morning, everyone. I'd like to present this hammer to you as a symbol of all the hard work that you and others have put into making this dream become a reality. And happy Monday, everybody. And look at this gorgeous home, this beautiful family. Just remember that that hammer, as much as it's about driving something with impact. It's about absorbing that and taking that energy and putting it into something good. So always reflect on that. And you're not going to have to use it to make any repairs because this thing is solid. If you've got any problems with it, give us a call. We'll be back out here to fix it. And congratulations to all. Thank you. Okay. Now, I mentioned partnerships. We have some amazing partnerships in our community. Uh, one of those is Ditec. Ditec has provided surge protection for your home as well as all the other homes that we're building here on out. Uh, GFWC has brought some books for the kids and a few little goodies in there that you can uh, check out when you get inside. Um, and Feeding Tampa Bay has, has provided some food for you to get started with. Let's say a few things here and there so you don't have to run out to the store immediately after you move in. Another one of these amazing partnerships is Kids Pedal Power. 
Uh, and I have Joe Elmer here, uh, so there he is, uh, that has a, a couple things for the kids. So, Joe. Good morning. Thanks, Jack. As Jack said, my name is uh, Joe Elmer with the Upper Tampa Bay Chamber of Commerce, today representing uh, Kids Pedal Power, one of our nonprofits. And I guess it was maybe two, three years ago that we were lucky enough to partner with Habitat to be able to provide bikes to the kids at these home dedications. And I got to tell you, it, it's been such a blessing to us to be able to participate in these special occasions. So to the Peterson family, thank you for letting us be here today. And congratulations on your new home. You. All your hard work is about to pay off big time. And I'll leave this with the kids. Enjoy your bikes. Always ride them safely, always wear your helmet, and always, always listen to your mom. Yes. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm all right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. All right. So, uh, Zarai, Eric, and Nelson here. Uh, your mom has worked so hard. Uh, through the program. She, she worked, she came home, cooked dinner, took care of you guys, and then she had all the Habitat stuff on top of it, the classes, the hours, the sweat equity that went into it, and uh, she built you a brand new home. Beautiful location, great home. Have you guys seen the inside in a while? Has it been a minute? Yeah. yeah. Get ready. I've been through it. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. You did a great job. Um, so we can make that happen. I'd like to introduce Xavier from our team. Now, Xavier uh, just received a promotion and a, and a move. He's now our director of corporate, uh, what is it? Partnerships. Director of cor cor corporate partnerships. Way, way easier to say director of programs, but he's moved on. So he has a few things to say, and I hand his keys over to you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Jakevia, you've accomplished so much in just one year, um, and you have so much love and support behind you. So. Just want to say we're so proud of you. Um, congratulations and welcome home. Good morning, everyone. Thanks everyone for coming out on this special day. First, I would like to thank God for this opportunity with Habitat. And for giving me the strength to get through this journey. I'm just truly thankful. Habitat, I can't thank you all enough. Your whole team is amazing. Sandra and Brittany, thanks for your encouraging words you gave me. Deb, the day I sat with you signing documents, you were so patient with me. And I can tell you love what you do, but you are such a loving, caring person, and I appreciate you. Thanks to the construction team and volunteers that worked on my home and to any sponsors. Thanks a bunch. To my friends, thanks for understanding me while I go through this process to accomplish my goals. And thanks for checking in on me at times and sending uplifting, encouraging words. To my family, mom, dad, sister, I can't thank you all enough. I really appreciate y'all. To my sister Tasha and cousin Ashantia, through this journey, y'all have been so loving and supportive. And I probably cried the most to y'all. So I just want to say thank you so much. To my SP, my St. Pete Little Devils family. Thanks for everything. I really appreciate you all and loving and loving and look, looking after my boys when I couldn't be present. To my children, thank y'all for being such a blessing in my life. I'm so grateful for you three. I want to let y'all know to always believe deep in your heart that you're capable of achieving anything you put your mind to that you will never lose. You either win or learn, so never lose. You either, you either win or learn, so just go for it and aim for the skies. I will always be right here standing behind y'all, 
I did this for y'all. Mommy love y'all and welcome home. Congratulations. Today, today is a big day. This is one of those days you'll remember for the rest of your life, and I'm sure everybody here will too. This is a big deal. Um, huge accomplishment. Congratulations. Um, another board member, Jason Rusick. Where are you at? There you are. Welcome. Thank you for being here today. Um, the last thing we're going to do before we go inside is say a blessing over the home. So we have Mr. Uh, Dexter Daltrey uh, that's going to say that blessing. What we like to do is in, uh, invite everybody to come up, if you can, find a place uh, on the home to lay a hand. Um, if you can't reach the home, grab a shoulder. And uh, once that's done, we'll uh, take a few pictures and go inside that home for the first time. So, Mr. Dexter, the floor is yours, sir. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father God, for allowing us to come together on this special occasion, Father God. And you have blessed Jakevia with a new house, Lord, the house that she had sweat equity in, Father God, that she had take the time out from her family, Lord God, and from the little devils, Father God, to achieve her dreams, Lord God. And we just want to say thank you, Father God, for this blessing, Lord. I just ask right now, as everyone touched this house, Father God, that the love permeates through this house, Father God, as your spirit fills it, Father God. And we're just asking right now, Lord, that you bless the Habitat Humanity from the board members down to the newest volunteer, Lord God. Bless them in the overflow, Father God, for what they're doing in this community, Lord. And we just ask right now that you touch everyone, the ones that took time out to come and enjoy this special occasion, Lord God. We just ask that you bless them as well, Lord, and just keep your hands upon this house, Father God, from the roof to the, to the floor, from the front yard to the back, Lord God. Since we ask for a hedge of protection, Lord God, so that there are no hurt, harm, or danger comes upon them. So we just ask these things in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 